Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. I'm just being quiet a little bit because the birds are chirping outside my window. And maybe you can hear them. This is my finished gar French garden cottage book called Le Jardin. And I'm wrapping it when I mail it. I'll be wrapping it in this napkin that I bought in France. I'll just take that out so you can see. I'll move it so I don't rip it or something. So I'll show you the finished book. This, or journal it is really. This um, was shown before, but it was incomplete then. And there may be some changes you may notice. So there's the, the cover. And I made a little booklet to go on the cover. And inside there are a few of my watercolors with garden themes. Yeah, so those that goes in there. And of course the lace is antique. And then the first page is this one. And inside this one, this is one of my paintings. And inside this one is a book. Oh gosh. Sorry, I had to move the curtain. Okay, so a little booklet just made with French pages and on the cover is one of my little paintings. They're all original paintings on fabric and not easy to do it on fabric but anyway that's a little book that you can jot things down in. And of course here's one of my paintings. The next page is the cottage where it says cottages because these are cottage, it's garden cottages, French and basically English I would say. So that's that one. And under here there is a, a card which is here. And this is from an old botanical book and that says Les Saffron. And then there's something about sage on the back of it. And that sits under there. Okay. The next page is just a watercolour painting that I did not too, and with a little rose embroidery there. And it has the word crafts, and crafts, I guess that's Scots and Irish, could be English too, for cottages anyway. I think meaning the thatched cottages or those country cottages. The next page has this on, this little painted cottage with some embroidery and a little girl sitting there, or standing there actually. This page is um, sort of a triple page because first of all there's a painting of my cottage with a woman and then there's a pocket on this side where I put a vintage postcard of a butterfly and on that side there's remembrance and ribbon embroidery. Let me just move that over. So on this side there's the word remembrance and some ribbon embroidery. And then this goes in here, that vintage postcard. And then if you lift that up, that's a pocket. And there's an old bird postcard. And this is um, from France. I got it. It's an ad for a restaurant, actually. And it says the Winter Garden. And it was in... Um, I can't remember where it was. But anyway, I picked it up. And it, I thought it fitted nicely in that anyway as a memento. It's probably around Toulouse somewhere because that's where I spend more time than ever. This page has another cottage, hand painted of course, and then in there I put another antique postcard of flowers. And this is sort of cool. I left this page blank because I wanted to just um, put that on there, but don't glue it on or attach it in any way. Because I made this book, <laughs> which is sort of called Botanica. I don't even know if that's a real word or not. But anyway, I went out one day a while back and I picked out some foliage around about. I pressed it in a few old books and then when they were dried I adhered them and I just put numbered 
tape on there. So that's the Botanica book. It's just kind of cool, kind of funky. But in case the person that gets this doesn't like it, you know, I left it so it's removable. This page has, first of all, it has one of my doorway embroideries. And that was a photo I took in the south of France. And underneath is a bicycle picture. That's a vintage bicycle picture. This side, I decided to put tea leaves here. Let me get this over here. The word tea leaves, I have to fit this in there. Well, anyway, the person who gets this will have more fun with it. So that's tea leaves, a woman's image. And then in here, I've, I've got this old embroidered piece, which is a pocket. And inside there, I've put tea bags. And um, I wanted to make sure, and a little notebook, actually. But I wanted to make it so that you would know they were tea bags. And so it's got the tea, just the tea label there. So that goes there along with this little notepad there. And then we come to the back. The back has roses, of course. All this fabric is linen and chintz. So that's it. That's for sale. If anyone would like to buy it, um, you would need to pay with PayPal, which is my... I'll put that down below, but that's my email address. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.